So either find the limit or show that it doesn't exist. Uh, in this case, first of all, uh, we'll try along a certain path and then we try along a different path uh, to, to see what kind of value we have. Okay, so just by looking at it, uh, you can see that if we let uh, the x goes to, we'll, we'll keep y equal 0, then you have the limit of 0 divided by x squared. <clears throat> if you let x equal 0, you'll have 0 divided by 2y squared. In any event, it will be 0. So uh, observe, okay, we observe that the limit equals 0 along the x-axis and along the y-axis. But of course, this is insufficient to show that the limit exists. Uh, however, this by itself is insufficient evidence. existence. So in this case we'll use the squeeze theory. Let's make a claim first. The claim will be the following. You're going to say that x squared um, sine squared of y over x squared plus 2y squared is greater than or equal to 0, right? Uh, and But it's also less than or equal to um, sine squared of y. Now, why is this true? This is true because x squared over uh, x squared plus y squared plus 2y squared. I'm sorry. Everything is positive because we are dealing only with square terms and there is no subtraction. So we know that it's greater than or equal to 0. But because the denominator is greater than the numerator, we know that it's less than or equal to 1. Right? If the only time it's equal to 1, if uh, y equals 0. So, therefore, if you multiply by sine squared, this will be less than or equal to sine squared. Okay? Therefore, we have the following. Uh, the limit is y goes to 0 of sine squared of y equals 0 and now we can say that the limit when xy approaches 0, 0 of x squared sine squared of y divided by x squared plus 2y squared 
okay, is less than zero, but it's also at the same time greater than zero. There is only one value that can do that. Therefore, the limit of x as x y approaches zero of this function is zero, and that's a proof by the squeeze theorem. Yes, you, James, you, you uh, the conclusion is the same, is what you say, and that's one of the ways we uh, we uh, we can actually show that the limit exists. At the bottom? Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs>